Hey guys, so in today's video, I'm going to be showing you how to draw eyelashes on Procreate. Now, this video is specifically for Procreate. I'm going to be showing you guys what brush I use to draw or to draw eyelashes or eyebrows. But for today's video, I'm only focusing on eyelashes and how I do that. But if you are using some other software, then I do have an in-depth tutorial on eyelashes. Do check that out. I actually teach you guys the basics of eyelashes and how you can incorporate those techniques in any software. So without any further ado, let's just jump right in. So I have this eye sketch ready. I already have eyelashes for the eye. I just wanted to show you guys how to draw eyelashes. Now before I start, I just want to show you some basics that I personally um, use. So what you want to make sure always when you're drawing eyelashes is that hair strand of the eyelashes should always go like this now i know the brush is too thick and don't worry about it i just want to teach you guys how the eyelashes go so let's just suppose this is the lash line the hair in the middle go upwards the hair at the end of the lash line goes in this direction and near the tear duct of the eye the eyelashes go this direction so that's how you want to draw each individual eyelash hair strand you want to make sure the direction is correct when you're drawing eyelashes and you're not just doing this this is not how you draw eyelashes now that's a little basics on eyelashes and i'm just going to clear this layer i always use technical pen when i am drawing eyelashes and i always use procreate to paint or to do anything so i'm just always using this so um, again if you're watching this and if you use any of the software then procreate you can use any brush which is similar to technical pen so the reason why i use technical pen is because it is kind of thicker at the starting point and as you go further the end point of the brush stroke is really really thin and crisp which makes the hair strand look like hair actual hair or actual hair strand so that is the reason why i use technical pen and i'd recommend you guys using that when you are drawing eyelashes so now i'm gonna start drawing the eyelashes this is the lash line that we are going to be following and that's how the hair gonna go these are the direction where the hair strands are gonna go so i'm just gonna start doing so now the color is too dark you can always adjust the opacity of the brush and also whenever you are drawing eyelashes make sure to start from here and not here don't do this this will this will look awkward so now i'm just gonna start adding really light hair at the end of the eyes as you guys can see i'm really being really light on the screen not really putting any pressure that now i know the hair strands are looking pretty thin now once you have that base ready with you you can go ahead and add thicker hair strands over those and this will these thicker hair strands will merge with the, with the thinner ones and the eyelashes will look pretty realistic that's how you do it just add first in the first go add thinner hair strands and in the second go add some thicker hair strands now i could have done this better so um yeah i'm just gonna do it once again so that you guys know what i'm doing so first just go with these really thinner hair strands like that and then just add some more hair strand but this time make sure those are thick so that's how i do the upper lash line and for the lower lash line also the direction goes the same way so this is the lower lash line and these are the direction that you should follow for the lower lash line so that's quite simple you guys i keep it light on the lower lash line for some reason i don't really like that spider looking eyelashes so i just keep it light so i first go with obviously thinner hair strands like this as you guys can see these are really really thin and i rarely add any um thicker hair strands on the lower lash line and now i'm just gonna go and add a bit of thickness to it not too much don't add too much of thickness to the lower lash line or else it'll start 
to look as if it's a spider. You can make those look longer if you want to. So I'm just going to just increase their length a bit. So that's how I do the eyelashes. That's pretty simple, you guys. There's nothing so complex about it. The more you practice, the more you'll get uh, used to it and the more it'll look perfect. So also for the lower lash line, I'd recommend keeping the starting point really dark and the end point really light like this i hope you guys can see like this so that's how the lower lash line the hair on the lower lash line look like so you can just before you start painting the lashes just start maybe just start practicing you know making these little hair strands so I really hope you enjoyed this really quick video and if you did give this video a big thumbs up subscribe to my channel and also follow me on Instagram and if you do create something out of my video tag me on Instagram I'd really appreciate that when you guys do so and yeah other than that I will see you guys in the next video.